Hi, my name is Abby Ajero and I am the site supervisor of Children's Home Society of Washington Highline Early Learning Center. I am going to take you through a tour of our great facility. Come on in. Highline Early Learning Center um, is located right on campus of um, Highline Community College in Des Moines. This is a facility that um, caters for our Children's Home Society of Washington. We care for children ages 0 to 5. We start as early as 4 weeks to enroll infants. Like I said, come right in so you can get to see exactly what we have inside. Just like um, we all know, um, nutrition in this country is a big deal and we really are concerned about having to have children eat healthy. Children's Home Society of Washington contracts a specialist, a nutritionist specialist, who makes sure that we have um, healthy meals and great um, menus for our children. Come right in into our kitchen so you can see our state-of-the-art um, industrial kitchen that uh, we have um, a qualified cook. Elaine Williams, she prepares all the meals for our children, making sure that we're following um, USDA standards. All right. And uh, we make sure that our children eat breakfast, we, they have lunch, and they also have healthy snack later in the afternoon. Come right in and then follow me to the classrooms. In this facility, um, it is purpose-built for children, so that children are really comfortable. They, they know that this is their facility because of the great um, architectural design that really is child-friendly. So um, as you come in, we are also very concerned about the security of our children. So right from the front desk, you will be buzzed in if you are not an authorized staff to enter the facility. So I have an authorized staff, so I get to get myself in. Come right in. Children's Home Society of Washington really cares for our parents, so we have family advocates for our early Head Start program and our Head Start programs. I'm going to leave you with our early Head Start program um, family advocate, Cindy Morris. Hello, I'm Cindy and I'm the early Head Start family advocate. I enroll um, children at birth to three into our early Head Start program. So right now I'd like to take you into our infant room. We, um, we can enroll up to six babies in this classroom. In our infant room, we have a one to three ratio, so that's two educators in each classroom. Um, our infant role is designed to have children ages six weeks to a year old. Um, and as you can see, each child has their own crib. Um, we have lots of um, rugs down for the children to be able to crawl around on the floor. Um, Another nice feature in this classroom is the floor is heated for the babies so that the, um, the ground isn't, or the, the floor isn't cold for them to crawl around on. So this is our infant room. And we have, down the hallway, we have um, two of our classrooms that we call our toddler classrooms. Um, come on down this way. In the hallway here we have um, another gross motor um, area for the children to play. Um, a lot of times the educators will bring them out here when the weather is bad um, so that they can play, so get that gross motor um, activity. This is one of our toddler classrooms. And again, um, we can do um, ages ages excuse me, 18, 18 months to 36 months in the classroom. And we have a one to four ratio in the classroom. So for every um, four children, we have an educator. And we can enroll up to eight children in our toddler classrooms. This is another one of our toddler classrooms. And I will go ahead and take you inside this classroom. Um, 
So in this classroom, we have um, different areas of the classroom. We have, over here we have dramatic play, where the children can play with dolls, um, maybe vacuum the floor, dress up. Um, as you can see, we have some purses over there, and we have um, child-sized seats, um, couches, and chairs for the children to sit on. Um, we have, um, over here we have our reading center. So we do uh, maybe some circle time here. Um, children can come over here if they don't feel like um, engaging with the other children. They come over here and have some quiet time with themselves. Um, next we'll go into what we call our Wadler classroom. And this classroom is designed for children when they turn 12 months. Um, and they are walking, and the parent feels that the child is ready to move up. We would move them into this classroom. In this classroom, um, we have um, children aged 12 months to 20 months, and same ratio, one to four ratio of two educators in this classroom as well. So those are our early Head Start classrooms. Thank you very much, Cindy. Um, for every classroom, we have um, qualified teachers with at least a degree in early childhood education. Our, our teachers are all qualified for every classroom. Every of those two um, teachers are qualified. They have at least an AA. And um, we are really pushing for the bachelors in early childhood education. This is really our goal, to make sure that our children are being taken care of people who have studied and known how they develop and they can bring out the best in them. I will introduce you to our Head Start family advocate to take you to our Head Start and preschool classroom. Hi, my name is Stephanie Salazar and I am the Head Start family advocate. I will show you our classroom. Right now we have ages 3 to 5 years old in this classroom. We have a ratio of 1 to 10. Um, so we have up to 20 children with two educators in our classroom. Every child has their own cubby and portfolio as well, so the children's artwork can be kept um, in a safe place where they can look at as well as pictures. Uh, focus right now for our preschool classroom is kindergarten readiness. The children are learning their numbers and their letters and how to write, um, so they will be ready to go to kindergarten once they are here. As well as in the toddler classrooms, we do have um, our outdoor play area, which is right out here for those rainy days. We can't go outside, but the children need to still get out all of their energy and get some gross motor skills. They as well also have uh, toilets their size and hand washing sinks their size, and I can show you in uh, one of our empty classrooms what those look like. that we have that is still getting all set up and ready for new children. They have child-sized water fountains and hand-washing sinks um, for children who need to wash their hands or are thirsty, as well as boys' and girls' bathrooms. This is the boys. Um, they have different stalls for a little bit of privacy and child-side toilets as well. And every classroom is accessible to the outside, to their outside play area. And we will show you the preschool play area right now. As you can see, the preschool play area is quite large with a lot of different aspects about it. You have your concrete, um, as well as some grass and beauty bark and nature for the children to explore their surroundings and their outside. As we come farther over here, you'll see different play structures as well as a sandbox for the children to get some sensory involvement as well. Children here are able to um, get their gross motor skills out. We have tricycles and bikes that they're able to play on to so learn how to do that as well as helmets. So we have different playing apparatuses for them to um, play on, as well as an outside bathroom, uh, which is accessible to all the children. Oh, well, um, thank you very much. Uh, we'll go back in. You can see we have quite a lot here. Uh, our outside area still stretches down to our toddler rooms and the rest of them. So we'll go right back in. 
Okay, so um, I just wanted to show you um, our parent room. This room is designed for parents to um, to come in here. Maybe um, they're taking a class over at the college and they just want to come in here and do a little bit of studying. So this room, we invite them to come in here. Um, it's a quiet area. They can um, sit on the couch and um, you know work on some of their studies, or if they want to um, just kind of hang out here. Um, I also, um, Stephanie and, he, and I also do um, our enrollments in this club, this room. Um, this is where we might meet a family and enroll them into our program. We also have a monthly um, parent training, and we would hold that training in this classroom. So this is our parent room. Thank you very much for coming in with us for this tour of um, Children's and Society of Washington Highline Helen Learning Center. I hope you enjoyed um, looking through our state-of-the-art facility that is very, very child-friendly and um, give children quite a lot of comfort and it helps them to learn better. Thank you.